Hello and welcome to another ramen review. This time, a frozen ramen from the Ling Ling Company. And as you can see, it is a tonkatsu chicken, Tokyo style ramen. A little description there. Interesting that it's chicken tonkatsu, because tonkatsu means pork. I did look up on the ingredients, and there is a pork stock in it. So I guess even though it's chicken on top, there's still pork inside somehow. There's a little read on the back. If you want to pause and read that. And the instruction on the side. Basically, it comes in this red bowl. You peel off the plastic. You fill up to the fill line is this little indentation here. You microwave it for what it says on the front, 4 minutes and 15 seconds. And then it's done. So here's kind of what it looks like here. You got these little strips of chicken. Looks like I have one, two, three of them. There's some broccoli, some corn and carrots, and some red peppers, red bell peppers. Al just fell over. Let me fix Al. Can't eat without him standing up straight. Um, there's also some uh, cut up green onion. You can see that little pieces of green onion there. Um, anyway, let's get it mixed up and then give it a taste. So normally I do my ramen on the stove top, but this one only had microwave instructions. I'm hoping this one is better than the other one I got from Walmart, the Sam's Choice one, which was kind of disappointing. Alright, I got it mixed up. Let's take a bite out of this. I'm going to just start with just a regular bite of noodles. Here we go. The noodles are very soft. They're not like mushy like the Sam's Choice one ones were, but uh, still like there's not there's no like bite to them. They don't really soak up a lot of flavor. Let's try a piece of chicken. Okay, you see the sides like it has like a little, I don't know if those are real or fake burn marks on there, but it does have like a slightly charred chicken flavor on there. I'm going to slurp some of the broth. Well, I've had a lot of tonkatsu broth before and this does not taste like any of them I've had. Look at this list of ingredients. It's a lot of ingredients for a bowl of ramen. Um, let me see if I can get a bite with a little bit of everything in there. Some carrot and the corn and a piece of chicken. piece of broccoli ahead. Yep. Okay. The highlight of this dish are these pieces of chicken. The uh, the chicken pieces aren't like amazing, but they're le really the only thing in the bowl that has any type of flavor whatsoever. The noodles are bland. The broth is bland. The the vegetables have their own flavor to them, but you don't really depend on vegetables to 
bring flavor to a, a full dish normally. Kind of disappointed with this one as well. So that's two different ramens I've tried in the frozen section at Walmart that, that were both disappointing. Uh, this one also came in a, a beef variety as well, but I'm not going to be hurrying up to try that one anytime soon. Anyway, I'm going to give the, the Ling Ling Chicken Tonkatsu Tokyo style ramen a 6 out of 10. Disappointing, lacking in flavor. The only real savior to the dish at all was the chicken. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you guys liked it. Hope you guys uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. All those other great things. And as always, enjoy yourselves, guys. Bye.